Stop number two in the Cactus League for 2020 is Goodyear Ballpark in Goodyear, Arizona. The facility is in western Arizona, west of Phoenix, north of the Goodyear Airport, and it is shadowed by the Estrella Mountains. The ballpark's home to the Cincinnati Reds and the Cleveland Indians. Most days you can access the practice facility at 9.15 a.m. Today the Reds happen to have a home game so we were able to watch them practice. The practice facility is detached from the stadium so you'll either have to drive, it's a short drive from the ballpark itself. And once you do return to the ballpark, parking is $5 and there is plenty of parking. The ballpark sits 10,311 people. The ballpark opened in 2009, and as you enter the ballpark through home plate, you'll find a couple of sculptures, this one being Brotherhood, honoring our military. This one is called the Ziz, which ties baseball and flight together. Continuing with the theme of easy access, the ballpark is relatively easy to get into. Tickets range from $8 to $31. On this particular day, it was a giveaway day. They were giving out bobbleheads of Sonny Gray, a Reds pitcher. This area here, this is where they foul them off because you have to go up to the top okay. okay? Okay. The staff and everybody who works at the ballpark are pretty friendly and accommodating. Like I said before, this was a giveaway day for bobbleheads. This is the only stadium that I've found in the Cactus League that actually gives away bobbleheads. Goodyear Ballpark does a good job of keeping the whole family interested. When you go to Goodyear Ballpark, make sure to go to Queen City Grill where you can get the Skyline Chili Dog. The question is, how do you eat it, right? Get it. <laughs> oh, wow. What do you think? I'm mowing down on that thing. It's the Skyline Chili Dog. Along the first base side, you can run into Saddle Mountain Brewery, a local Goodyear brewery. Today they had four different beers on tap. I tried all four. My favorite was the cream ale. If you're trying to get Red's autograph, make sure to line up on the third base side. Um, and if you are trying to get Cleveland Indians autographs, Make sure to line up on the first base side and the visiting team will be the opposite of both of those. Ballpark is wide open and it has a miniature baseball field that uh, kids can go play wiffle ball on. Another unique feature of the Goodyear Ballpark is the palm tree lineup right behind the berm in the outfield. We got a chance to watch Red's top prospect, Jose Garcia, hit a home run in this game. This at bat happened to be a chance for a fan to win a, a new car if he had hit a grand slam, which he just missed. The berm seating, like in most Cactus League ballparks, is the, is the cheap seats. It's eight bucks, but you can sit on the grass and watch the ball game. Right field has a seating area with a good vantage point that is first come first serve unless it's reserved. Features a bar and, uh, and it sometimes has food.
He now lemonade here. He kettle coin here. You can roam around the ballpark and just about anywhere find something to eat and something to do. The ballpark is wide open and friendly. Goodyear ballpark. Ohio flavor in the desert. <laughs> Hey, Cotton Candy Girl.